Okay, now before you start going off and printing all of your signs, vinyl, and displays, you should run some test prints and make some adjustments to get the best quality out of your BN20. Open up the utility software. You should find a convenient tray icon on your toolbar. Under the Adjustments tab, click Adjust All. Click Test Print and a test pattern should be printed. Follow the on-screen instructions to check for clogged nozzles. If any nozzles are clogged, you may have to clean them by selecting Normal Cleaning and then clicking Go. Otherwise, click Next and you'll be brought to the next step. The next two test prints will check for bidirectional alignment and feed calibration, which are very important for getting the best results. So follow the on-screen instructions to select the values that look the best and click Apply. The final test prints will test the cutting and print cut functions of the BN20. These are needed if you're going to be printing any self-adhesive stickers or decals. Otherwise, you can skip them. Follow the instructions on screen and you'll do fine. Once the test cut is performed, you'll be asked to enter values associated with the quality of the test cut. The cut force is the down force of the blade. Too high and it'll cut into the back of the paper. Too low and it won't cut completely through the material. The default setting is 50. The cut speed is the speed of the blade. Too fast and the cut line will be crooked. The default setting is 150 millimeters per second. The cut times is the number of times to cut the same location. If you can't get a good cut adjusting the force or speed, increase the cut times. The default setting is one time, and for most self-adhesive materials, once is plenty. Check the cut shapes. If any of the lines are crooked, decrease the value of the cut speed. Peel off the circle, and if the square comes off with it, then increase the cut force value. If some uncut areas remain, just decrease the value of the cut speed. Now, peel off the square. There should be a faint mark on the backing paper from the blade. This is normal. If the blade mark is indistinct, increase the cut force just a bit. However, if the mark is too deep or the backing paper is cut, then decrease the cut force value. Another way to get very accurate adjustments of the cutting in amount of the blade is the blade extension that can be adjusted on the blade holder itself. By turning the cap portion of the blade holder, you can adjust the blade extension by 0.1 millimeter per tick. Use this diagram and equation to figure out the best setting for the blade extension. However, be aware that printing on some longer drying media has a risk of being scratched by the blade holder if the blade isn't extended enough. After you finish with the print and cut pattern test, click skip on the screen for the crop cut adjustment. This test is only necessary if you're using overlaminate on your prints. And there you have it. Your BN20 is now calibrated and ready to begin printing. For the absolute best results, you should run nozzle check test prints every day before you begin your outputs. The other tests should be performed whenever you change the media type.